Hey guys, welcome back to another Shadowverse video from Blueballs11 on YouTube.com. Today we're going to be playing Loxus Roach in Unlimited. Hell yeah, let's go. So this is just a fun deck that I found floating around. I can't remember who I snicked the list from. You know how these things go. You see a deck floating around and you're like, hey, that looks cool. Maybe I'll try that. And then you grab that deck list and it's like, wow. Am I supposed to credit someone for this? I have no idea. I have no clue. But yeah, so this is just your classic Roach deck. Unlimited Roach has been through a bit of an evolution over the course of the last two years or so now. So there's like, what, five to six to seven expansions. It went from utilizing Fury Wisps that you spawn from Arya's fanfare and evolve effect to using the Nitro package and nowadays we're using Loxus as part of that, hell yeah! The basis of this deck is getting that turn 5 Loxus with a zero cost respite or tree or something and then what will happen is you spawn the new stat buff neutral amulets, you continuously play more bounces, more trees in order to proc all three of Loxus's effect. Those trees and bounces will also refund mana so you'll eventually get to like something like 4 mana, 5 mana, you play Fairy Wisps on top, you play a Roach on top of your board and voila you have turn 5 lethal. Something like that. And then you have some one-off text in this deck, so you have Soothing Spell and Wolfrid, Hangman's. Wolfrid's great for some of those anti-combo games or when the game drags out too long and you're not able to actually smock your opponent's face into oblivion with roaches. Soothing Spell is just part of that longevity game plan. Say you get to turn 7, turn 8 and you want more balls, you need more defense, you need to stroll out the game a little bit longer. More specifically, I believe the spell is used in, or well, this spell is more relevant in aggro matches, aggro matchups. Say, aggro blood, summit haven, those kind of hyper aggro matchups. Most of the rest of this list is pretty recognizable. You have alchemical confectioner to tutor out your true pieces, Liza to tutor out your roach. Ramiel is just a good neutral follower that offers ramp going second. That extra playpoint orb is also pretty relevant for getting that roach combo off on turn 5, turn 6 with plus 1 mana orb going second, so pretty sweet deal there if you're able to get the Ramiel off. The natural damage mitigation effect on her is also pretty sweet for denying any sort of easy removal from your opponent. Seraphic Blade is specifically used as a tech against Summon Haven. Sometimes you can use it against Atomy, although in some cases <laughs> you're not exactly going to want to be breaking your opponent's amulets early. All in all, a pretty solid deck. Not the best deck in Unlimited, but definitely a fun deck to try out. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so off to a great start here, we have our Liza into Confectioner. Oh, I'm not sure, I know in past expansions when I played this deck and it was very, very, um, how do I say this? In past expansions, this deck was very tied to a very tight, very tight timings on a game plan, so more often than not, you didn't have a lot of space to play your three mana draw twos stat bodies. Well, any more than one or two three mana draw two stat bodies, I suppose I'll keep around the Liza so I can toot out the Roach early. We have one Roach. That's nice. The other nice thing about Liza is she she will toot out your Loxus because he is the highest cost follower in the deck. Not that I need a tutor him out now. There you go. Wow. Such a skilled player. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. Alright, so I think the question here is... Do I turn 2 Ramiel? Or do I save Ramiel for turn 4? Alright, so if he's playing World Wind Roach, the likely... Alright, so... He's playing some kind of janky control for us, maybe? I'm not too sure. Hopefully the fact that Ramiel can't easily be removed by spells and he has no followers on board to whack into that Ramiel means that he won't be able to remove it before I can ramp up on turn 4. Which would be nice, that would be nice. I hope that happens. I'm pretty sure that's a turn 6 lethal. Man, these UL people, you have no idea what they're playing. Ow! Oh. Oh! 
Damn, bro. Easy game, easy life. I think he's already lost the game. Oh, man. Obviously, someone who doesn't read the card effects. Ooh. Nice. All right, let's go. Next game. Does anyone remember him? I don't remember him. What? Exactly. Thanks. Welcome back to Shadowverse. Enjoy your fun. Shadowcraft is probably likely to be a part to Purgatory deck if they're colossal. Yes. I have one of my combo pieces made. I don't have the Roach in hand, so that's annoying. And I'm going first. So Ramiel is a dead card on the Evo turns. But hey, it makes for a good board anyway, so who cares, right? Good solid turn 2 play that can't be removed by most spells. Unless they run sudden showers, but nobody bloody runs sudden showers, so aggro shadow probably, because who the hell. Who else runs a bloody turn 1 Miyako? Miyako. Miyako! Dude, you know, I was talking with someone, they're making fun of me for mispronouncing words like Petolpsis. How do you pronounce Petolpsis? Petolpsis. Oh, I don't know. Anyone? Any suggestions? Isn't it a silent P? Yeah, so... Tolpsis? Tolpsis? Telepopopisopisa? Oh, oh, I'm getting butt fucked, I'm getting butt fucked. Alright, turn four, turn four, turn four. Flower... Into... Alright... Alright, so I have a setup for a turn 5 losses, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull off the lethal because I haven't tested this deck out at all. That would probably be a good idea to test out a deck before I bring it into rank. Nah, who gives a fuck? Fucking YOLO this shit. Alright, have I won? No, 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 I haven't. How do I do this? Part of the problem is I don't have board space, so I only need to get 3 off. So one, two, three. Either Nichiren tree three, that's three whirlwind. I crash that in. Two, three. Whirlwind. Should have spent the vault there because what am I saving the vault for next game? I like to say that a lot. Unlimited is cutthroat bloody thirsty, I tell ya. But no time to breathe, no time to speak, misplay a single time and you lose the entire game. That's just how it is. I should be in an okay position next turn though. I play Loxus into Tree, into Wisp, into Roach, into Roach, into Roach. Fair and balanced deck. I'm playing right Nos Roach, baby. Alright. Oh. Um. Because it's gonna minus two, minus two amulets, and it'll be plus one amulet. And then I save the fairy wisp for next turn. And uh. Living for next turn. A 5 4 ward and a 5 7 ward. Do you think I'm not living? <laughs> and I'm up against the aggro deck as well, so I don't even have to worry about them just hitting me with some weird ass combo. Alright, so I think I Loxus onto Loxus. The issue with the deck. Yeah, so he's using all his shit to just clear my board and it's like, well, now? You're fucking dead, kiddo. How do I do this? I can Soothing Spell. I can Loxus. Loxus rocks this. Really? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 damage, 5 damage. Yeah, that's lethal. 2, 3, 4. 5, of all 5, 6. Victory rewards! Alright, no roach in hand, this is great. 
Oh god, it's summon. Oh god, oof. Alright, so either I'm gonna have to airbound barrage onto the wind bear next turn. Turn 3 play is gonna be that griffin into the summon or griffin into the sneak attack or the what? Oh, he has two amulets in play, that makes sense. I could get greedy here. I could get really greedy with alchemical. Oh, I can't afford to because then I'll lose hand space. One. If I get a wisp, I slap the wisp and then I have to ferry because I need the hand space next turn, which is an issue. But hey, it's an aggro deck. So to be honest against aggro decks, I don't care too much about wasting resources. Because the main objective against aggro decks in general is to stay alive rather than save up pieces for my combo. Ooh, I could ram you that'll be super greedy. Hell yeah! <laughs> if I played that correctly, I could have a fairy wisp, but whatever. Alright, so at the very least, if I have the setup, he can't unga bunga bunny girl smash face for 7 damage. He can still smash face for 5 damage and I don't have many heals, so that's an issue. Next turn is probably going to be Elf Queen evolve into a chemical confectioner, maybe? I don't know. 4 mana. 4 mana storm 2 4. Amulet sneak attack? Okay. We okay, we okay. I'm going to have 2 fairy wisps in hand next turn. Hmm. Um. Makes sense. He's gonna evolve that. Next turn, I'm just gonna Elf Queen and hopefully draw into more Fairy Wisps. I mean, if I can save that Guidance for next turn, I have a turn. I have a 7 mana OTK on turn 6. Alright, that works. Alright, as long as he doesn't have any wards, I've won the game. I think. Fairy Wisps, Niche, Guidance, Fairy. 1, 2, 3. Three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, this Ramiel tech is really good. Alright, no way he has a ward, right? Haven doesn't run wards, Summit Haven doesn't run wards. If he does, I'm kind of fucked. He's gonna evolve the Aether, smash the Aether into the ward, and then he's gonna attack with the Bunny Girl into my face for six damage. I'm gonna be a 5 HP and I'm gonna win the game. Hell yeah! You're already dead, kiddo. Who, who cares about burning cards? Oh, Ooh, I even drew into more BM. Boom, boom. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I mean, see, the thing is, right? If I didn't draw the third rage there, I could still tree into tree and have enough damage for lethal. Because he left the lies alive on board. Oh, he's angry. He rage quit. I can feel it from the length of the pause there. Ooh, she's hot. CBT, CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. Oh, my mindfulness, dude. When you're talking about <laughs> the heck? Mindfulness, dude. Oh. It's a new way forward. So yeah, guys, I didn't have a chance to showcase the Wolfred. I swear it does have relevance in some matchups. Same with Soothing Spell. Seraphic Blade, definitely one of the cards that you want to be drawing in the matchup against Summit Haven, although you don't need it. You can easily stroll out the game with your wards and your wards. Loxus is great, both as a ward and as a win condition enabler for my Nosroach. Great tech, you should try it out. If you want to see more, subscribe. Or don't. I already am sub, dude. The and fuck? <laughs> I'll see you so next time. We wait 11 hours. Peace! Double Make more accounts as a sub.